Okay, in this video we have the following problem. We have y equals negative 1.25x squared minus 15x minus 27. This is a quadratic function. And we have a restricted domain of this quadratic function. That is to say, uh, x is limited between negative 8 and negative 2. And I want to know what are the possible values of y given that x has to be between negative 8 and negative 2, and y is this particular function of x. So I guess the first thing we really need to do here is uh, we need to uh, get an idea of what this looks like. Uh, well, this is a quadratic function, and quadratic functions take the shape of a parabola. And this particular quadratic function is written in standard form, that is ax squared plus bx plus c equals uh, y. And a, that is the number, the, the coefficient that's multiplied times x squared, is a negative number. And what that tells me is this is going to be an upside down parabola. Okay? And it goes from uh, negative 8 something to negative 2 something. And the way that I've drawn this, it looks like these two points have the same y coordinate. They probably don't. I have no idea what the y coordinate is right now. I have to plug negative 8 and negative 2 into this formula and see uh, what they are. Uh, actually, matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to... Uh, by the way, when you're doing problems like this, get yourself a calculator because it makes life so much easier. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, negative 8 and I'm just going to store that into my x variable here on the ti84 and then I'll take I'll do negative 1.25 x squared minus 15 x minus 27 gets me 13 so this is negative 8 and 13 and now I'm going to do oops, now I'm going to do the exact same thing uh, with negative 2 I'm going to store that in my x variable and then do the exact same process and I get negative 2. So uh, as you can see negative 2 is a lot lower than 13 is so actually this looks more like this. That's what our function is going to look like. And uh, I'm still assuming that my vertex of this parabola is somewhere in between negative 8 and negative 2. That might not be the case but assuming it is it's going to look like that. So to find the, uh, the range of this, we look at our lowest point, that is negative 2, and our highest point, which is probably the vertex. So we got to find where that vertex is. Now, how does one find the vertex of this quadratic function? Well, um, one thing that we can do is we can put this in vertex form, okay? And the way you get a function into vertex form uh, is by uh, completing the square. And by vertex form, what I'm talking about is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, all right? And the vertex of this is going to be the point h, k. Now, how do you get it from this form into something that looks like this? And the way you do that is by completing the square. And we've, we've completed the square before, but let's just do it one more time. And i got to give you a disclaimer right now, and that is, this is not how I would do this problem. Um, I'm going to show you a better way in just a couple minutes. But it does work, and I think it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting to see that it works. So let's go ahead and do it anyway. So, completing the square. The first thing we got to do is we have to get something that is a perfect square on the right side. And the way we do that is by chucking this constant uh, uh, term over to the other side and dividing everything by this coefficient right here. So the way we chuck the constant term over is by adding 27 to both sides. So I'm going to have y plus 27 equals negative 1.25x squared minus 15x. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative 1.25, which is kind of a mess. 
I get y over negative 1.25 minus 27 divided by negative 1.25 is 21.6. As you can tell, I did this with a calculator earlier. I cannot do it that fast in my head. Uh, and that's going to equal, let me leave a little space there, that's going to equal, um, we're dividing by negative 125, so I just get x squared. Negative 15x divided by negative 1.25 is positive uh, 12x. And so now I have to add something to both sides of my equation that are going to get me a, uh, a perfect square. And the way I do that is by taking that 12, cutting it in half to get 6, and adding 6 squared to both sides. Okay? So on my right side, what I have now is x plus 6 squared. I have that because I designed it to be that way. This is a perfect square. And on my left side, I have y over negative 1.25 minus 21.6 plus 36 gets me plus 14.4. Okay? Now, it's very simple. You just solve for y. Okay? We're going to do that by subtracting the 14.4 and then multiplying by 1 negative 1.25 on both sides. So I get y over negative 1.25 equals x plus 6 squared minus 14.4, subtracting 14.4 from either side. And then once I multiply, I get y equals negative 1.25 times x plus 6 squared Negative 1.25 times negative 14.4 gets me 18. Oops. 18. So, matching this to this form here, what that tells me is that my vertex, this point right there, has the coordinates negative 6 and 18. All right? That's completing the square. That is not how I would do this problem. Uh, now, actually, let me, let me go ahead and uh, uh, come up with the range. Our high point is 18. Our low point is negative 2. What that tells me is the range of my function is from negative 2 to 18, and y is in between those two things. So there's our answer. Okay? So now that we've done that, let me just wipe the slate clean and say, how should I have done this? Well, this is what I would actually do. Remember the quadratic formula? It says x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Well, what that is is split it into two different pieces. It's negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Every parabola is symmetric. Okay? And what this finds us, this finds us the x-intercepts. This finds us the points where this parabola is uh, 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 intersecting the x-axis. Now, like I said, every parabola is symmetric. There's a line of symmetry going right smack down the middle here. And what you see is that the x-coordinate of the vertex is right in between the x-coordinates of those two x-intercepts. Well, this negative b over 2a, that corresponds to this point here. And when you add this piece here, you get that point. And when you subtract this piece here, you get that point. And all this is to say, if what you're looking for is the vertex, it's going to have the same x-coordinate as this point right under it, which is negative b over 2a. So what I could have done at the very beginning was to say, let's see, a equals negative 1.25, and b equals negative 15. My vertex is going to have the x-coordinate of negative b over 2a, which is positive 15 over 2 times negative 1.25. That's a negative 2.5, and that equals negative 6. Same thing I got right there, but I got it a lot faster. 
Now, how do you get the 18? We'll just take this negative 6 and plug it into our uh, function. Negative 1.25 times 36 minus 15 times 6 minus 27. Uh, pop that in your calculator and what you'll find is you get 18. So our vertex is negative 6 and 18. Okay?